Hello, I'm Joe from Cheap Joe's Art Stuff, and this is Mel from Cheap Hi. Joe's Art Stuff this week. You're part of our group this week. I am. You are. Happily. Yes. Yes. And we're so glad to have you here, Mel. Mel's mm -hmm. been coming for several years. We've become really good friends. And Mel, mm -hmm. you're yeah. from New Jersey. New Jersey. Yes. Up north. Yeah. And I'm from North Carolina. Down south. Down south. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> And uh, tell us a little bit about, I know that uh, you studied art at Pratt Institute. Pratt Institute, yeah. Back in the 50s, 60s? In the 50s. In the 50s. Yeah. And then you were a, a, a designer, a creator for? For various advertising agencies and did um, a lot of film work and uh, print work at that time before computers came in. Uh, you were obliged to draw and letter and use uh, things that people don't hear about these days, uh, pen tells and magic markers and uh, like that. So it was a great experience for me. You know? Right. Yeah. And, and during that time, you told me that I believe that you had the, a chance of meeting some fairly famous people and yeah. working with them. Mm -hmm. And was Gene Kelly, am I right? Gene Kelly was one? Right, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Gene Kelly was, uh, it was for an account that uh, I had, I was creative director at the time of an agency uh, called Kenyon and Eckhart. Air France was one of our accounts and we engaged uh, Gene Kelly, uh, worked with him for about five weeks, three weeks in, in Europe doing uh, film and uh, a couple of weeks doing print ads in California. And he was uh, just as you might imagine him to be, a sweetheart of a guy, and uh, had a, just a great time, great experience for me. That's super. Yeah. Now you, you told me that you had a, that he invited you to his home. Yeah. And you, you got all dressed up and all the people dressed up to go. Yeah. And, and what happened? Yeah, after the, uh, the shoot in California for the print ads, uh, he invited us to his home in uh, Los Angeles, and uh, we all got dressed up. I came fairly casual, uh, being an art director, you're allowed to do that. And, uh, but all the account executives were dressed up, shirt and tie. Gene Kelly opens the door and says, come on in. He's in his wardrobe. He's in a, <laughs> he's in a bath, white bathrobe, I recall and uh, wasn't wearing a toupee, so he was as uh, bald as my friend Joe and I are. Well, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, we, we came in there, he was a very unassuming guy and put us at ease right away. Opened up his closet door to show us all of the hats from the various uh, movies that he made. and. Uh, uh, like that. So That's he's great. A great guy. You have some good stories. I've yeah. had the good fortune of hearing several of Mel's good stories. When did you make the transition from that kind of work to fine art and d doing mm. workshops sort of thing? Um, full time since 1991. That's when I left the advertising 91, business. 91, 25 years. Yeah. About. I did it full time, but before that I was, uh, I was teaching on weekends uh, while I was working during the day in advertising and I would teach a few nights a week at home and um, uh, that was a great learning experience. I don't know where I got the energy from but I had it back then. Uh, built wooden tables that popped up for artists to work on at home in my basement and uh, I just had a, a great time in freelancing, advertising um, at the time as well. So uh, it's a great experience. That's great. Yeah. And and you know something that that I love about you, Mel, is you you don't seem to have any problem painting any subject. Mm -hmm. I mean, you'd go all the way from a TV for advertising to mm -hmm. uh, find the finest portrait work, to Queen mm -hmm. Queen of England. Uh -huh. or whatever. You just do yes. a wide variety of stuff mm -hmm. and you're going to get to see his art here. Um, you saw a little bit before we started and you're going to get to see a whole lot of it here after we finish this little 
mm -hmm. interview. Which is, but it's just wonderful, yeah. the stuff you do. Mel's been here this week, all week teaching at Cheap Joe's. And he'll be back here in two years. In two years. He'll yeah. be back. And we look forward to that. Time oh, yeah. goes so quickly anymore that's that right. it seems like today you're here painting and next week you'll be back here painting. Yeah. And that's right. a, a great thing. Yeah. What, I um, enjoy. what, what, is there a certain subject that inspires you more than others to paint or you want to paint? Uh, Not I, really. I love a lot of things. Uh, uh, doing people. I'm interested in. And uh, when I'm not painting at home, I'll go to sketch class a few times and uh, paint with everybody else. But I l generally love nature. I like to be outdoors. My preference is painting outdoors, whether it's by myself or with groups. Um, but Joe doesn't let me do that. I'd like <laughs> to be indoors with him. So. We could do an outdoor yeah. next year. Oh, we could. Yeah. yeah. Pick out a, a day at least sure. out of a week. Sure. Let's know. do that. That would be fun. We'll talk about it before yeah. you come. Okay. You must come to his workshop here. Next time we're going to be painting outdoors and indoors. Yeah. And we have a wonderful facility here at Cheap Joe's. Oh, yes, he does. Yeah. Well, Mel, it's all, as, as always, it's great yeah. having you here. And, and great being here. You're just a, a good friend. Thank you. Good. Thank you. And thank you.